Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to cut glass with scissors. So it's amazing that this actually works. So I have some regular glass here that I just colored with a marker so you could see it easier because it's really hard to see when it's just clear. Now if I told you that I could cut a circle out of this glass with regular scissors, would you believe me? So I wanted to investigate it and talk about the science behind it. Does it actually work? And if it does, why does it work? Let me show you how to do this. You just need some water. So you stick the glass in the water and then just cut it like normal and watch what happens. For example, let me snip off this corner here. <laughs> I just snipped off a corner of glass with scissors. <laughs> Look at that. Now for comparison, watch what happens when we try to cut it outside of the water. <laughs> watch how I can make a circle out of this piece here. Look at that. So it's actually not even that rough of an edge. It's not even that sharp. <laughs> cut a circle out of glass. Okay, let's try to cut another circle out of this, see if I can do it. So it kind of helps to angle the scissors sideways and do smaller cuts rather than trying to do big ones. So it kind of just grinds away at the glass. Looking more like a circle. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Look at these two circles that I could just cut out of a pane of glass with scissors. So how does this work? How was I able to cut circles out of glass with scissors? Well, believe it or not, the water is actually reacting with the glass during the cut, but it's not causing the glass to not crack. In fact, it's actually causing it to crack much faster than normal. So when glass cracks underwater, it actually accelerates the rate of crack growth by more than a million times. So what's happening here is water molecules enter the crack in the glass and it adsorbs to the very tip of where the crack is. So that molecule causes a chemical reaction to happen and the silicon oxygen bond at the crack tip and an oxygen hydrogen bond in the water molecule are both cleaved. This produces two hydroxyl groups that now are attached to the silicon. And so it broke that bond in between here and causes the crack to continue cracking down. So this reaction with the water lowers the energy needed to break the silicon by a factor of 20. And so it allows the crack to grow much faster. So what was happening with our scissors cutting the glass is the scissors were applying the stress to it and the glass actually cracked so fast that it just flaked off all of the cracks and the crack had a hard time just propagating one crack through the glass. Because it was such a fast reaction, it just kind of feathered everything off. Now you can still get large cracks to form under the water, but it makes it much easier to kind of flake off the glass around the edges. What's really interesting about this is evidence has shown the early American Indians already knew about this. They knew that if you put glass in water or get it wet, 
it causes it to break more easily. So when American Indians would make arrowheads out of flint, which is a form of glass, they'd get it wet and it would cause it to flake more easily and they could get the sharp edge that they wanted. And artisans even still use this today. Oftentimes when they're scribing glass, they make a scratch in it, and then they use their spit and get it wet, and that causes it to get a finer break. So you can see that the edge here is actually a pretty clean cut. It's not very jagged at all. I mean, I'm sure it'd cut you if you rubbed it against your finger, but it's not that bad, considering the tools that we used. Now I recommend not trying this at home because the glass can still break and cut you. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.